Hey guys, before I start today's video, I just want to do a little preliminary, um, you know, prerequisite to the video um, because the video that you're going to see today was already recorded last week when I, you know, was <laughs> really hurting from my um, pulled neck muscle. Um, so it's kind of a shorter video. So just letting you know that the video you're going to see today right after this intro was recorded last week. So keep that in mind if I talk about anything that doesn't make sense. <laughs> also, I would like to throw out there that um, I did a video yesterday unboxing some jewelry from Timu. Um, and I will link the video right up here. So I would like to offer you guys... Um, if you would like to purchase any of it, um, two items for $5. So any items that you see in yesterday's video, I'm sorry, Monday's video, I'm sorry, Monday's video, <laughs> um, you can email me with the timestamp and a brief description, two items for $5 plus shipping. Okay, so this is all this stuff that I showed on Monday and, um, I also had this jewelry tree and tray that I totally didn't see and I apologize. Um, but it is just a little, it's plastic, but it's actually quite large. Um, it has a cute little deer and the tree here is the antlers. Uh, let me give you guys a measurement. So if anyone would like this for their dresser or maybe for, you know, a daughter or niece, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. This is nine and a half inches wide. The tray is also nine and a half inches wide and tall. It's about eight and three fourths inch tall and wide. It's five inches wide. Okay. And it's like a really pretty uh, green color. Let me see if I can get a little bit better of light in there. So if anybody would like this, I only have one and it'll be $5, okay? So um, also all my information for the Timu video is in, yes, um, sorry, I keep saying yesterday, in Monday's video, I do have a 30% off coupon code um, that you can use to shop and I'll put the coupon code here and you can go to timu.com or you can download Timu on your phone. You can download the app on your phone. Um, okay, so also keep keep stay tuned. You can subscribe and click the bell to all right here because I will be unboxing more items from Timu. Um, I have some purses and shoes and clothing and um, we're gonna dive into some shipping supplies, reseller supplies. Um, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun and um, I hope you stick with me for it. All right. So again, anything from Monday's video, two for five dollars plus shipping, um, I can hold obviously through the rest of the week. So just let me know and we will get right into the video. Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full time reseller and we're going to finish this bag of jewelry today. So. The instructions on how to place an order are right here. I got my nails done in a super neon orange. What's my favorite color? Neon. Okay, so here are the instructions for how to place an order. It is also down below in the description box. So please read this carefully so you know how to place an order and what you need to do in order to do so. I also have this information listed in the description box under this video. Just click more and it will open up all my instructions. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's keep going with the lot from Monday and last week. So let's get a little bit out. And actually, I'm going to start with this. So I, let's push all you guys over to the side for now. I had shown this um, in a recent live sale, live auction, and it did not sell. I would like to offer it here before I list it. So this is a Kenneth Lane. Okay, in my focus, focus check. All right, it is gold tone. This is acrylic. It is large. 
Um, it has very little wear just on the high points here. Um, and it is a long twisted gold tone chain with the hook closure. Um, there is a little bit of wear to the Kenneth Lane nameplate. And the drop on this is 16 inches on the drop. This little horn thingamajiggy is about three and a half inches. So I will offer this to you guys for $15 if anybody's interested. Um, if not, it's okay. It will go on eBay. So that's Kenneth Lane. So in case anyone's interested in that. All right, so let's start back with the lot. I do still have the single earrings over here. Um, let me move you guys in just a hair. And let's start with this. This is by Hannah. It is a kind of like a peacock um, acrylic faceted bead stretch bracelet. It does have the tag still on it. It has good stretch. I will do that for $5. Here's another stretchy that kind of matches. <laughs> so this is um, acrylic as well in more of like a salmon-y coral color. Really great for the summer, summer time. We're gonna do that for $4. We have this ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding. It is silver tone. What does that say in there? I-S or si he <laughs> um it's i believe it to be just silver tone of course it's going to not be magnetic but i don't think it's sterling really nice ring good condition it is a size 10 and i will do that for five dollars we have this little purple, purple, wow, green. Oh wait, that's the back, haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is a really pretty Millefiori and green enamel heart pendant. And the back says Karis, right there. So that's really cool. Um, I have, um, st sterling silver, Plated. I have silver plated chains that I can put with this if anyone's interested. Um, so just the pendant alone will be $10. With a chain, I'll do it uh, for $15. So just let me know in the email. We have a little mother of pearl brooch. Very pretty. A little star. $5. We have a couple rings that I can see. This one's very pretty. Um, I do see markings. Uh, I think that says IBB. IBBCN. So I don't know if that would mean that it's sterling. Could be. So let's, we'll turn on Pressy for the st stones and then we will take a little... Oh no, that's, oh maybe, I was gonna say if it scratched red, that's the copper, but let's see. No, it is not sterling. So let me just clean that off. I'm gonna have to get more of these little pads if I'm gonna keep going. So while this warms up, let me just go grab some more, um, the little, Makeup rounds, I actually should have bought more. I need to buy more, okay. So I'm going to assume these are just glass. I, I still didn't calibrate my machine, so don't hate me. All right, yeah, they're glass. It takes a lot for me to calibrate it because I go in through the side. So yeah, it's a whole ordeal. All right, so this is in good condition. It is about an eight and a quarter, and I will do that for $6. I see another ring over here. This one is silver tone and a little worn. It has a couple of um, rhinestones. 
size seven and a half. It, there is a little wear to it, uh, $4. Let's get all the rings from this little section out. Okay, I think that's the only one. This one's really pretty, look at that. I do already see wear on the prongs. Oh, this is an Avon. Very pretty. So there's your Avon. I just like the style of the sides here. Very, very pretty. It is a seven and a quarter. There is a little bit of wear on this one. And they are glass stones. Um, like I said, just be aware that there's some wear to this. I'll do it for $4 because of that. Okay, let's do these earrings. These are matched. They are like a sil I mean, gold tone medallion style with the lever backs. I will do those for $4. We have these, which are silver tone. They have that really nice and easy backing where it's not gonna come off. Um, so these you would have to wear on the certain side of your um, head where you know you're not going to see the inside because it's kind of just one-sided but all of the stones are there so I will do those for four dollars yeah. ow that was my elbow again <sighs> that's because I'm too far over ouchies all right so we have a Little ballerina brooch, but she's missing some silver tone on her arm. So, and a little bit down here. So I'll just do that one for a dollar. This is a pretty cool clock brooch. I think maybe we're missing one stone right there. Um, I'll do that for $3. Oh look, here's this other earring. So these are post back. I will provide new backs if somebody purchases these. These are really pretty. So they're gold tone and they have all these little dangly bits. Very, very pretty, blue and clear. And I'll do those for $5. Oh wait, we have this little guy. Okay, I know we have that one. Here we go. Look at these, how pretty. Let's see if there are any markings. I don't see any on the back of the lever back or the earring. Mm -mm. So they're probably just a silver tone. Mm -hmm. um, so we can test them. But I don't see any markings on them. Yeah, they're not going to be because that came out really red. So that's the copper. They might just have a plating on them. Yeah, they're not. <clears throat> they're not sterling. Let me actually get. That's not it. All right, where's my other little? Where's my? Here we go. And then I would like to test the stones just to at least make sure that they are glass. Yes, good, good. So very pretty, purple. Oh no, are we missing? Hold on, let me look closer. Are we missing stones? Yep. Poop. <sighs> All right, um, so these will just be a dollar. I do have rhinestones, but I don't think I have them small enough to replace these. So I'll just have to do these for a dollar. That's a bummer. Some, some of you guys might have replacements you can use. So I have this mate right here. These are gold tone, like a little rope that is articulated. And we'll, very nice condition. We'll do those for $4. Then we have these guys. Oh, I do see writing in there. So these say P-A-J-B-R China. 
but does that mean that they're sterling? Maybe a Vermeil? Maybe. So let's see. And then I do see a few stones in here. Uh, we're gonna test those as well. Okay, so it's not coming up as sterling. Um, or wait. Uh, nah. I was gonna say I thought I saw a couple little blue flecks in there, which means it could be plated, but um, obviously it would be like a gold wash. So I do see stones in here though. Some of them look like, are they all, are they illusions? All right, so we do have illusion stones, but that one is real right there in the middle. I, w I wonder if that would be a diamond but they would put diamond in not even sterling silver. Hmm, let me see. Now, where was it? Here it is. Nope. Nope. There we go. Diamonds are forever. All right, so that's kind of weird how they would put, because it's not sterling. But PAJ, I know, is a designer. So anyway, very pretty. They are like a, a gold tone with the center uh, silver, and then you got the one diamond in there. Little hoops, really nice condition. We'll do these for $15. Then we got this little guy hanging out on the side here. Hmm, you are not magnetic. Do you have any markings? I do not see any. All right, so it is an eight inch circumference and I'll do that for $2. All right, let's t get some more out of this bag. Oopsie, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, let me grab what dropped. Okay, it was this little ring. not sure what that's supposed to be it's gold tone but it's very worn it is a size five and a half and I'll just do that for a dollar all right we got some chunky monkeys in here let's get this conquer out of the way so this Has a clasp here. Ooh, that's a 925 clasp right there. So this, look at this, this is all agate. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the banding in that. How pretty with the little druzy pocket. Wow. So I'm not really fond of the wood beads so much, <laughs> but the agate is really, really beautiful. Um, and there, it's silver, starting silver findings. So if anyone would like this to maybe, you know, have it as is or reconstruct it, I will do that for, um, I'll just do it for $5. That's basically a dollar a stone. And then a dollar for the findings. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have a bracelet here. Um, I don't see any markings, possibly a wrap bracelet. So it would go like so. Brown with the antique gold tone and rhinestones. There is a little bit of flaking on the back of the strap, so I'm just gonna do $2 for that. Ooh, this is pretty. You are a listener, listener. Mm -hmm. So gold tone with these um, brownish stones and then the AB ones, okay. There is teeny itty bitty little bit of wear 
on some of these, but not anything that's too dramatic. All the rhinestones are there. Let's do a measurement. There are a bunch of adjustments here. So you can wear this at 14 inches all the way up to 17 and a half inches. And I will do the Lisner for $14. All right, here's another chunky monkey. Oh, okay, I thought that was peeling, but that's part of it. So the, this is like a painted acrylic beaded necklace. Um, it is very long. It is a 14 inch drop. And I'll do that for $5. Then we have, this looks real. Yes, these are genuine pearls with a 925 sterling finding here. These are like a very pale pink. Very, very, very pretty actually. If these were white, I'd, pro I'd definitely be keeping them, but I don't want pink ones. So we will let you guys have them. And this is a measurement of 16 inches total. And I will do that for $12. Does this go that way? Yeah. I don't see a maker mark on this, but it is like a little bell. I don't know if it's supposed to be a mat like that, but um, it has the rhinestones. I'll do that for $4. It's unsigned. We have hoop earrings. Look, you can see me in it. Hi. Um, so, eh, they're not really in the best condition. I'll just do those for a dollar. Um, this is a pretty silver tone and blue beaded bracelet. You can adjust them, adjust it. So you can wear it at a maximum of eight inches all the way to about six and a half. So six and a half to eight inches on this. Very pretty. Five dollars. Looks like we have little clip-on clippies right here. Let's see. I don't see any maker marks. They're like a little woven button gold tone. Four dollars. Then we have these lever backs. These are just an acrylic brown stone. Three dollars. We have a glass Millie Fiori bracelet. Look at that. That goes with my nails, right? <laughs> um, stretch is okay on it. Uh, it's sitting at a seven inch right now. I'll do that for $8, beautiful. Here's a little rose gold tone Hello Kitty bracelet. It says Sanrio on it. And there are a couple uh, measurements for this one as well. So we can go from, technically you can put the clasp here. It could be as small as about six inches all the way to eight inches. And we'll do that for $5. We have another little ring right here. This is pretty. This is like uh, silver tone leaves with the um, rhinestones, very good condition, size eight and a quarter, five dollars. Oh, I see a kitty cat brooch. Oh, yeah, look at this tiger. Meow. <laughs> All right, so no maker mark, and we'll do that guy for five dollars. Here's a very thin uh, mother of pearl inlay bangle. Very pretty. Eight inch circumference, $5. Oh, this is pretty. This is a little, um, 
guitar brooch. Took me a minute. It looks like we're missing a stone out of the center of that flower. So I will do that for just two dollars. We have another little ring. This one, that's actually really pretty and it's adjustable. Oh, that's, that's a little small. That's pretty. So right now it's sitting at a seven. Well, I would say about a six and three fourths, but it is adjustable. I will do that for $5. I'm not sure what this is, but look at that. You can see the markings from here. That's Pandora, A-L-E, yep, look at that. So I wonder what this was used for. Maybe it's like a charm necklace, because it is a black um, cord. I don't know. Well, I will sell it as is for $8. Okay, this could possibly be sterling. Let's check it for markings. Mm, don't see any, but you're not magnetic. So let's test you. Oh yeah, look at that. That went real blue. Too bad I didn't see any markings though. Hmm. Might have missed it, or they could just be worn. But very pretty, nice little stacker bracelet. It is um, seven and a half inches around, and I will do that for $12. And then, whoa, we got this little guy. STG is sterling right there. Get a little pendant. He's like, rock on. Yeah. <laughs> so let's test him too. Oh, yep. So that's sterling too. This is a little pendant. I'll do that for uh, $14. Is this guy going to be sterling too? What are you? You look like a little maybe midi ring or toe ring. That's actually very comfortable. Hmm. Um, I don't see any markings. Not magnetic, so let's give a little test here as well. It is, la la la. Okay, so for the midi slash toe ring, <laughs> I will do $12. And what are you? That looks like a little um, nameplate you can get mo um, engraved. And it does say something at the bottom there, but I can't read it. <sighs> I'm gonna guess that says Bo Sterling. So let's also test you with the little diamond cuts on the edges there. Okay, yes, it's very faint, but I can see it on my end over here. So let me clean all this up and um, for the Bo Sterling brooch we can do um fourteen dollars all right let me just get a sip of my duncan okay here's this other earring we had this one post backs did they say anything no so they're just like a post with the dangle hoop. 
Do those for three dollars. I thought I saw a hair. Hold on. Yeah, let me get that out of here. All right, so we have this little bag of goodies. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, these are gonna be bright in. These are cute. So these are bright in love. Love your heart. Okay, silver with the gold tone. Little huggy earrings, very cute. So I will do those for $10. Those were in good condition too. This little rose brooch. You say something in the pin. All right, I think that's upside down. Cremence. This is a Cremence, so that's really nice, and that's a good brand, and this is in really good condition. I will do that for eight dollars. All right, next up we have a necklace. Choose your own path with a little compass and to thine own self be true, Shakespeare. And then the chain is just silver tone, but it has an extender. Without the extender, it's a nine inch drop. And I will do that for $5. Then we have this necklace. This is gold tone. Oops, let's get this straight here. Okay. So we have a little angel and a little cross, both with green and clear rhinestones. It says DM. What does that one say? I can't read it without my loop. Close that. C95, OTC95, not sure. Anyway, we're gonna sell it as it is at a nine inch drop for $5. All right, so we only have a little bit left. So this will be a little bit shorter of a video, but I didn't wanna you know, get into a whole other bag of jewelry just yet. Okay, so this is the last of this lot, la la la. Here is a silver tone leaf brooch by Jerry's, $5. Here are some verdigris earrings. Aye, aye, aye. They look like they would be marked. Hmm. Guess not. All right, so I will try to clean them up um, as best I can, but you know, just keep in mind there is vertigree. I'll do them for four dollars. Oh, this is cute. So this is a Capricorn gold tone necklace, um, probably eighteen inch length. That's pretty standard, sixteen to eighteen inch. That's really that's a really nice necklace. So that for five dollars. If I, was a, if I was a Capricorn, I'd probably keep that because I like it. That'd be look really great layered with a couple other chains. So here is a silver tone bracelet, but there's a lot of wear on this. So I'm just going to do a dollar on that. Of course, everyone's going to blow up my phone when I'm trying to record. I should have it on silent. Duh. Okay, so here is a gold tone and faux pearl. Long necklace with a little tassel -y bit at the end. It's very lightweight. The drop is 17 inches. Very good condition. I'll do that for $5. This is pretty. I love all these colors. Um, got a little leaf there. Got some faux pearls and all these pretty colors on the memory wire bracelet, $5.
All right, we got a bunch of littles here. So we have this blue agate, blue lace agate pendant, super pretty, pretty large too. Um, five bucks. Ooh, another Millie Fiore pendant. Um, this one doesn't say anything though. How many? I only had one chain, so I don't have any other chains at the moment. So as is ten dollars. Here's this <clears throat> other earring. Oh, but the petal's broken. See that? Bummer. All right, these will be a dollar. Maybe somebody can maybe make the other one into a brooch or something. All right, so we got these little guys. These are silver tone little hoops with, I can't tell if they're, they're like a blue gray seed bead. I'll put new backs on them and they will be $4. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh man, it doesn't fit. So this is a gold tone. Let me just check. Yeah, gold tone with a little rhinestone there. It is eight and a quarter. We'll do that one for six dollars. Really, really nice condition. Let me see this. Okay, yeah, six dollars. We have another ring, silver tone. Yep, glass it feels like, nice and cold. Size eight, we'll do six on that one too. Really, really nice condition. All right, we have a cloisonne little tulip and butterfly pendant, um, $4. We got these guys, these are, these look like they're sterling. I can see the 925 on the back. Actually, this guy's still, a little moist. Let's get the other one. All right. Yes, we have sterling. So these little posts, little studs, they're big studs. Sterling silver, we'll do them for $14. These look like they're sterling. You know what? And I'm gonna turn Pressy back on and check this stone. I see 925 on the back there. And the other one's right here. Yep, those are sterling too. This one kind of has a little bit of a bent ear wire. So you guys might have to do some bending of that. Let's move you guys over. Just glass. Glassy, glassy, glassy. So sterling and glass, and we would do these for 14 as well. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like a half hoop. You say, these are Ross Simons. Okay, so let me show you, darlings. The brand Ross Simon, right there, the R, 925. China CZ. So for these, we will do $14 as well. Oops. Then we got this guy, which is over here. Kind of has like purplish enamel with the gold tone. Do those for $3. We have another little, probably agate, banded agate um, pendant. $2. Let's 
And last but not least, we have these itty bitty, <laughs> these itty bitty flip flop. Can't even hold it. Flip flop studs. Let's see if they say anything. They look like they could be sterling. What do you say? It looks like an M in a shield. Um, I don't see a sterling mark, but I have everything out. So, and the post could be a little magnetic. So let me just try to, I don't know. I don't want to touch the other. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. No, I can't get it. So it does say 925 on the backs though. Wait, maybe that's something. I think it did say 925 right there. All right, so I will sell these for $12. Super cute. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me clean that up and let me put the instructions on how to place an order back up when I, as I say my goodbyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Subscribe right down here. It's free. And we'll see you in the next one.